Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another episode in our home renovation series. If you're new here to my channel, we recently bought this house and we've been working on fixing it up. So if you wanna go back and watch all of the other renovation videos and the empty house tour before we started, I will have all of those videos linked down below in the description. I didn't tell you guys in the last video, but we were only able to get half of the flooring that we needed for the floor because the Lowe's that we went to was sold out of the rest. So to get the second pallet that we needed, I just went online and ordered it and we were able to just drive to Tucson and pick it up with the trailer. Stay tuned until the end of this video to see all of the big changes that have happened to this house. You guys are going to get to see the kitchen ceiling lifted. There is drywall on the ceiling. The bedrooms and hallway are getting very close to being completely done. They're working on the main area of the house. Like they are starting to get close to being done, hopefully in the next two weeks. up here to the new house today because the yard and the weeds have just gotten out of control up here so we are going to spend all day Saturday just mowing and weed whacking. I'm going to jump on the mower and my husband's going to grab the weed whacker and we're going to get this yard looking a little bit better. got everything weed whacked and now he just ran over to our neighbor's house to borrow their tractor because we're gonna start pulling out some of these yucca plants and stuff in the yard. While I'm waiting for him to get back, I've got some of the samples of the handles that I'm gonna be doing in the kitchen. I'm partnering with Cosmas Hardware to do the kitchen. I've got a couple different sizes here so I'm gonna hold them up to the different cabinets and see which ones I wanna go with. I'm trying to decide if for these drawers I wanna do the big one or if I wanna do this medium one. I want the hardware on the cabinets to really be a statement piece. I'm thinking I'm going to do the biggest size on all of the drawers and then do this medium size on all of the cabinets, but maybe this medium size is too big. I do also have a small option, but that just ends up being about just as small as the old ones. I do have this little square knob, which these are really pretty, but I'm going to be sticking these square knobs right here all the way down on this pullout cabinet. I think the decision's made. I think I'm gonna do medium on the cabinets and then large on the drawers because these are such a statement piece. They're so nice and sleek and shiny and I want them to be what you see popping off of the white cabinet.
So we had to run up here to the house this evening because we got a call from the contractor that they ripped down the kitchen ceiling today, which is really exciting, but they ran into a little bit of a problem that we had to come up here and check out. The wires are basically down too low. They need to be rewired and put up higher since they're raising up the ceiling. So we're gonna have to call in an electrician. Hopefully they don't have to move the panel box or anything. It sounds like it's kind of gonna be a big deal, but Hopefully it's not, hopefully it doesn't cost too much, but we're really excited to go in there and see what that kitchen looks like with the ceiling lifted up. It feels totally different in here already. Hey, they kept the archway. They did. <laughs> we was worried that they knocked out the archway, but it's still there. <laughs> now that you see it there, do you still want to keep it? I don't know, it's gonna look funny. Think that's I mean, gonna look funny? Yeah, because this is gonna be lifted up all the way to there, not to here. It's gonna be lifted up all the way to that rafter. This kitchen looks so much bigger in here now that they've lifted up the ceiling. I think what we do is have the have the electrician guy come, mm -hmm. let him fix all the wires. Let's just do it right. Yeah. Okay, and then we will put in. We'll figure out. Let's put like six cans in here at least. Six can lights in here? Mm -hmm. Wouldn't you have four like how you have out there? No, one, one there, one here, and like three space them out, and then three over here space them out. If he's gonna have to rerun some wires and raise that box and whatever, I'm gonna I'm gonna have him go ahead and run some wires to put in some more can lights here in the kitchen while we're because this the right now is the time to do it. Right there and then I can put in the can, you know, after. And then if you guys cut the holes or I can or whatever, and then I can just put the can in later. Yeah. Over. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. I need to go look at the bedrooms. Did you guys start texturing yet or not really? He didn't knock them down yet. He said this stuff, they just put another layer on it or something. It was mm -hmm. still drying. They have to dry a lot longer, he said. Yeah. Um, Are you sure you don't want them smooth? <laughs> no, it's too smooth. Yeah. I mean, like, you'd see every blemish in the wall. Yeah. Every little thing. That's true. It looks really good, though. No, wow. So all this is finished. All that's finished. Okay. Um, so this is all that. ready for texture. Yeah, everything's all ready for this. texture. Yeah, let me fill that up okay. and dry it dry. Two, three, four, five, six, and then one right there. That's what I was trying to. This is over here by the pantry. Mm -hmm. So I came back up here to the house this morning because I felt like what I was filming last night I didn't show you guys too many details and it was also getting kind of dark So I wanted to give you guys a more detailed walkthrough today and the guys have gotten so much done just today So I'm just gonna walk you through the whole house and show you everything They already have drywall up on the ceiling this afternoon And I talked a little bit yesterday about the whole electrical issue that they ran into when they took out this kitchen ceiling Thankfully it wasn't quite as major as what we thought but it is going to be another expense that we weren't anticipating Anticipating added on top of everything else, but it's fine. It's what happens with home renovation But thankfully the electrician was able to start on all of that today and he is already almost done with it he Okay, so let's start with the hallway and the bedrooms because the hallway and the bedrooms are completely done and they are ready for Texture and paint so all of the walls back here are just completely smooth and white They had to do so many layers and so much sanding and scraping so many steps to get the walls to this point because you guys remember just how bad the texture was. So here's a look at the boys' bedroom. This bedroom used to be blue and it used to have a really thick texture on it. But now these walls are completely smooth. They just look so beautiful. Probably within the next couple of days, they're going to start putting that texture on the wall and that is not gonna take them too long because it's an easy texture to do. I wish that you guys could see these walls and ceilings in person because they are just so smooth. I can't believe that the guys got them this smooth considering how bad that texture was before. They just did such a good job. Back here in the master bedroom, it's the same. These walls are completely smooth. They actually put on 
another coat since the last time I showed them to you guys. So I think my husband said they scraped, mudded the walls, then they sanded, then they put on a coat to smooth it, and then they put on a final coat. So that's like several steps that they had to do here. So yeah, all these rooms need is texture, paint, trim and doors and they will be ready to go. This little indent right here is looking really good. You guys remember what this used to look like. We had to knock out that bench that was down here in the shelves. So now I'll walk you out here and show you the most exciting thing that's happened this week. This archway right here is looking really good, smooth and white. Seeing it like this makes me glad that I kept this arch here. It just adds character to this wall over here. So out here in this main area, they are still working on these walls and ceilings, just trying to get them as smooth as those bedrooms are. This wall here in the dining room right here where you see these two big white patches the wall dipped in there so they had to fill those in that was a little bit of an extra job but it looks way better now and then they're going to start on these laundry room walls and ceilings tomorrow this is basically the only room that they haven't even mudded yet but they are just about finished with this office in here I think they only have one more step until this room is done this is just so exciting and it's really good to see progress especially since I sent in our 30-day notice to our landlord today so we have to be out of the house in 30 days now but I'm pretty sure that we will be done in 30 days at least enough to move in and let me know down below if you guys think that we should keep this arch right here when you walk into the kitchen I think that it helps to separate the laundry room from the kitchen so for now I've told them to just leave it here is our very scary wire situation that we've got going on he is almost done with it but he still has to finish up all this tomorrow but like you can see here the panel box used to be down here at the bottom of this cutout and he had to move it up quite a ways okay so the best part for last I showed you guys last night that they raised up this kitchen ceiling and then today he was able to put in the wiring for the can lights and rewire all that stuff so they were able to put up some drywall today which is awesome like I said last night this kitchen just looks a million times better with the ceiling lifted it was so worth it I'll stand back here so I can get a good shot of what the kitchen looks like here with the ceiling lifted because I want to put a before picture here and then I will show you the after so that you guys can see what a dramatic difference this is. So now we've got quite a large space between the cabinets and the ceiling. And like I said in the last video, I'm going to build up something up above the cabinets that goes all the way to the ceiling. There's some ideas on Pinterest and I think I'm gonna be able to do that, hopefully. And obviously they still have to scrape and sand and mud and texture these kitchen walls and um, then get these painted. I hope that you all enjoyed episode five of the home renovation series. Be sure that you're subscribed so that you don't miss all of the future videos on this house and so that you don't miss seeing how it all turns out. Lots of exciting videos coming up so make sure that you don't miss those and thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in a couple days with a brand new video.